Hey folks, welcome to Average Doug Outdoors. I'm Doug and welcome to the couch. Welcome to the conversation. Fred Bear, what name does that mean to you? Well, to the younger generation, I dare to say some of them probably have never even heard of it. Uh, but to us older people, that is a name that rings true with hunting the worldwide. I mean, Fred Bear visited countries all over this globe and hunted with a bow. World-renowned hunter. Uh, died in 1988, uh, sad to say. But uh, he, was a, he was a world-class guy also. Now, Fred Bear was also the innovator of modern archery the way we know it. He was asked in an interview, he said, what is your favorite animal of all time to hunt? He said without hesitation, the American white-tailed deer. He said, that's the smartest animal I have ever seen. Now, to if you're like me, you don't get to go hunting as much as you want to. And I'm talking about deer hunting. You don't get to go as much as you want to. You don't have the time to take off to go. It's usually the weekends or, or you take a day or two or three day vacation, something like that, and can possibly go hunting. What is your percentage for every 10 times you go hunting? How many times do you come out with meat to put in the freezer? Well, starting out with, whenever I started deer hunting, uh, it was 10%. So for every 10 times I went into the woods, I came out with meat to put in my freezer one time. Now, as I learned more about the behavior of white-tailed deer, the more successful I became in understanding my prey, okay? Okay. And so now that percentage has gone up to 40%. For every 10 times I go hunting, I come out of the woods four times with meat on the table. That's not bad. That's not bad. And it's simply by understanding the behavior of the white-tailed deer. And that's what this video is all about. It's about understanding the defenses of a white-tailed deer because the deer is the lowest, one of the lowest on the food chain, whereas we're at the top of the food chain. So a deer uses four things to protect itself against predators like us, against predators like coyotes and and mountain lions, bobcats, all kinds of things. It uses four things, and that's what we're going to learn about, okay? Now, we're not going to learn, we're not going to go by hearsay. Instead, I didn't get my information from hearsay and all that because I, I found it not to be true. Instead, I learned it from scientific facts, and I took that information and applied it to the way I hunt, and that's how we become more successful, okay? I don't care if you're in the 50 percentile or if you're in the 60 percentile of your hunting success, you can, if you, if you do not understand these four things, then you will not be able to really raise your game that much more. It's all about taking our next level. So we're going to learn about what a deer sees. It uses its sight to protect itself. We're going to learn about the colors it sees, also how it sees its environment. Then we're going to learn about its sense of smell. How cute is it? How good is it? We're going to learn about its sense of hearing. How well does a deer hear? And also, we're going to learn about its ability to blend in to the environment. 
These are the four areas right here that a deer uses to survive on a daily basis, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, its entire lifetime. It's etched into that deer. God made it that way. So by understanding these things, we can raise our level of hunting. And that's what this channel is all about, okay? So uh, I ask that you like and subscribe. Smash the bell icon down there so that you can get the updates. But this is the series of videos, and this is the introduction. And these series of videos will take you to your next level. And if you apply these... It will work for you. I have shared these with, with my friends, fellow hunters, and they have used them, and it has increased their skill level also. You're welcome to share. Do whatever except for voiceovers and things like that. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned in and watch these series. I think you'll enjoy it, and it will help you as much as it helped me. Have a blessed day.